around the time before the Civil War, slavery was king. And there were slaves who lived on big plantations. And on those big plantations, they worked for people who lived in these big houses. And they were treated very hard as slaves. They worked six days a week from sunup to sundown. But on Sundays, Sundays was generally a day of rest. Many would gather around the square in the, in the slave headquarters and they would play their fiddles and talk. And someone would get up and go fishing. But others, others would go out and they'd have church. But for some slave owners, they didn't like their slaves going to church because they would often talk about freedom. And so they would have secret church. They would sneak off into the woods and, and they would go. And sometimes there'd be an old man that would walk. He necessarily couldn't sing well. But he would walk and he'd find a clearing somewhere. And he'd start to sing. He would sing old songs, some of them called Dr. Watt hymns. Songs like Guide me over, thou great Jehovah. Pilgrim in this barren land. And they would sing a little bit. But what would happen over time would be a call and response, kind of like a <coughs> tumor. The old man would say, Guide me, O thou great Jehovah. Children in this very land. And out of the woods will come the song of God. Can somebody help me? God. of those songs, he met his best friend. In fact, who would one day become his wife. See, what happened one Sunday morning while they were singing, a little girl on the other side of the Boca Chitta was a little Indian girl by the name of Martha Tom. Now, you have to understand back in those days that the Choctaws were a sovereign nation, and the Boca Chitta was a dividing one. See, there was slave country on the other side. But if you were able to cross over the Bogachita onto Indian land, you'd be free. And they often guarded those lands to make sure that nobody was around. One morning, Martha Tom got up and her mama told her to go and to pick some blueberries because it was time for her to make a nice blueberry cobbler for a wedding that afternoon. And Martha Tom went out and she started picking berries and she knew there was better berries on the other side. And the Choctaw Indians had done something that nobody knew about. They had taken rocks and they had put them in certain places along the boat chitter. Now they called it bok chitter. But they would take the bok chitter and they would put stones all across it and they would raise them just below the water level. And they could walk over those stones. Now, to anybody else, it looked just like water. If the water went higher, they put more stones. If the water was lower, they would take stones away. But there was this hidden bridge. And though Martha Tom knew her mama told her never to cross over on that other side, she decided that day she was crossing over the blueberries. 
And as she crossed over for blueberries, she heard them say, and help me out, bread of heaven, bread of heaven, feed me till I want no more. And they started singing that. Put your head down. You become a gentleman. Stone, take off. The only way he knew to get back was to go back by the big house and pass the plantation. So when they got into the clearing, he did just that. He put his head down, walked not too fast, not too slow. Just right. Walked right past the big house. Folks were sitting on like they do most summer days, enjoying a nice cool mid June and having conversation. They never even noticed them walk by. He led her over to, to where she was supposed to be. And then she decided she'd have a little fun with it. She let go of his hand and she took off running. 